Deuteronomy chapter 11 You must love Yahweh your God and keep his injunctions, his laws, his customs, his commandments. Mark this day how it was with you who received the instruction, not your sons. They have not known or seen the lessons of Yahweh your God, his greatness, the might of his hand, the strength of his arm, the signs and the deeds he performed in Egypt itself against Pharaoh and all his land. What did what he did to the armies of Egypt, to their horses and their chariots, how he poured the waters of the Sea of Reeds over them as they pursued you, leaving no trace of them to this day. What he did for you in the wilderness before you reached this place. What he did to Datham and Ibram, the sons of Eleb the Reubenite. Now, right in the midst of, the, of all Israel, the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them with their households, their tents, and all of theirs. It is your eyes that have seen this great work that Yahweh has done. You must keep all the commandments I enjoin you this day, so that it may, ha so it may have the strength to conquer the land in which you are to cross to make it your own, and to live long in the land which Yahweh swore to give your fathers and their descendants, a land where milk and honey flow. For the land which you are about to enter and make your own is not like the land of Egypt from which you came, where you sowed your seed and water it by the tread like a vegetable garden. No, the land into which you are crossed to make your own is a land of hills and valleys watered by rains from heaven. Yahweh your God takes care of this land. The eyes of Yahweh your God are on it always, from its year's beginning to its end. And it is most sure that if you will faithfully obey the commandments I enjoin you today, loving Yahweh your God and serving him with all your heart, with all your soul, I will give your land rain in season, autumn, rain and spring, so that you may harvest your corn, your wine, your oil. I shall provide grass in the fields for your cattle and you shall eat and have all that you want. Take care your heart is not seduced that you do not go astray serving other gods and worshipping them, or the anger of Yahweh will blaze out against you. He will shut up the heavens and there will be no rain, and the land will not yield its produce, and you will surely die in the prosperous land that Yahweh is giving you. Let these, the words of mine, remain in your heart and in your soul. Fasten them to your hand as a sign and on your forehead as a circlet. Teach them to your children and say to them, whether at rest at your home or walking abroad or lying down or at your rising, write them on the doorsteps, doorstep posts of your house and on your gates so that you and your children may live long in the land that Yahweh swore to your fathers. He would give them as long as the sky is above the earth. For if you faithfully Observe all the commandments that I enjoin you today, loving Yahweh your God, following his ways and clinging to him. Yahweh will dispossess all those nations for you, and you shall dispossess nations greater and more powerful than yourselves. Whether the sole of your foot, foot treads shall be yours, your territory shall stretch from the wilderness, from Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, to the western sea. No man will be able to stand against you. Yahweh your God will make you feared and dreaded throughout the land that you tread, just as he promised you. See, I set before you today a blessing and a curse. A blessing if you obey the commandments of Yahweh your God that I enjoin you today. A curse if you disobey the commandments of Yahweh your God and leave the way I have marked out for you today by going after other gods that you have not known. And when Yahweh your God has brought you back into the land in which you are to enter and make your own, you shall set a ble the blessings of Mount Gerizim and the curse of Mount Abel. These mountains, as you know, are beyond the Jordan on the westward road in the land of the Canaanites who live in the plain opposite Gilgal near the Oak of Morah. You shall indeed cross the Jordan and enter and make the land your own that Yahweh your God is giving you. You shall possess it and you shall live in it. 
and you must keep and observe all the laws and customs that I have set before you this day.